Hey guys, Andrew McComb here, the founder and CEO of Golf University. And this Golf University tip from the pro, I'm with Golf University's resident fitness trainer, Storm Muller, at the beautiful Riverside Oaks Golf Resort in Sydney, Australia, where he's gonna teach us about the importance of flexibility for not only increasing distance, but also reducing injuries. If you haven't watched video one or two in this distance mastery series yet, you can watch them here, and here. And after watching and then practicing the three free videos in this series, you'll be mastering your distance in no time. And before we start this video, and if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. And if you stick around until the end of this episode, I'm gonna give you access to our famous Golf University Skill Assessment which has helped thousands of our members, just like you, find and fix the one thing that's killing your golf scores, your handicap, and your game. Plus, we'll give you free access to the specific video coaching program from one of our world-class golf instructors so that you can feel more confident, consistent, and in control of this area of your game. But before I help you find and fix this area of your game, let's find out how by increasing our flexibility Will increase our distance and reduce inju injuries. This tip from the pro brought to you by Golf University, the world's premier golf improvement program. Flexibility is one of those things that's really important to golf, both for creating distance and for preventing injuries. However, many people spend very little if no time on their flexibility training. There are two types of flexibility that we want to look at. Today we're going to focus on mobilizations, but there's also static stretching, and that's more stretching that you would hold for 30 to 90 seconds. Mobilizations are great for pre-round and pre-practice golf. Static stretching is much better for either post-golf or maybe that stretching you do later on at night before bed, because they get much more benefit from it. Mobilizations are going to help us create range of motion through our bodies, and that's what we need to do to help get the perfect swing or close to. So three different things we're going to look at today. First one, we're getting against the wall or against the back of a cart. Because we're on the golf course, I'm using the cart. Hands to shoulder height, looking straight forward and taking one foot back until you get the stretch in that back leg calf. Other leg comes up and you'll feel the stretch on and then drive the leg across and back. What we're doing here, we're stretching up and down and across the calf, through the hamstrings, and we're also mobilizing the ankle joint, the hips, and a little bit into the thoracic. If we think about up to that high, then we want to start to think about even further still. So a mobilization we could do here, one arm comes up, one arm comes across, and we drive both those arms at the same time, reaching high and over, and reaching across. You'll really feel this through your thoracic or your mid and upper back and into your shoulders and still through the hips. Okay, we'll do a dozen or so on one side and then the same on the other side. If we're getting technical, we're taking this top hand through the frontal plane and this bottom hand across and around the transverse. And we're getting that little turn in the hips as well. There, so we might do a dozen on each side, spend 30 seconds or so there. Same as on the back of the cart. Repeat a couple of times on each side. And this is the final one we're gonna show you is one that you can actually use before you hit the ball off the first tee. So if you've rushed from the car park to tee number one, haven't had a chance to really warm up, this is, this is a simple exercise and mobilization you can do before you hit that first, first golf ball of the day. Stand about a hip width stance and you're gonna turn and drive the club around and over the shoulder. We're mobilizing the ankles and the hips and the shoulders. I'm a right hand golfer, so this is replicating part of my backswing. We start by looking towards the club, but then we want to start to bring the eyes down to where the golf ball would be. Because that is the position that I would be the top of my backswing. That's gonna help me start to release and mobilize my neck as well. 
Okay? So we do maybe a dozen on one side and then we go to the other. There, that's the follow through. Okay? Turning ankles, hips, shoulders. There. You can start to take it through a different position, high, mid, low, and we can do that on both sides. Repeat a couple of times and before long you'll find that your heart rate's starting to come up, you're feeling warm, you're feeling a bit looser and ready to hit that ball. And that's what we want. We want to make sure we're getting flexibility through the joints, range of motion through the body, reducing those injuries or reducing the chance of those injuries and hitting a long off the first. Well, there it is. I hope you've enjoyed this Golf University tip from the pro. Put a yes in the comments below if you found it useful. Or ask a question in the comments if you need even more help. And as promised earlier, we want to help you find and fix the one thing that's killing your golf scores, your handicap, and your game. So to access the Golf University skill assessment and free video coaching program, go to golfuniversity.tv forward slash golf skill assessment or click the link in the description below. And to help you feel even more confident, consistent, and in control of your golf game, I also want to personally invite you to join our 19th hole clubhouse and golf channel. This is where our passionate and inspiring members belong to watch, learn, grow, meet, and share inspiration as golfers. You can join the 19th hole for free at the 19thhole.club or click the link in the description below. As a member, you'll have access to hundreds of golf lessons, travel episodes, and documentaries. Plus, you'll get member-only discounts on our golf schools, tournaments, travel, tours, and signature programs. And if you're a golf addict like myself, you can also join our members-only Facebook group by clicking the link in the description below. And remember, if you've enjoyed this lesson, or you'd like to ask some questions, or maybe you've even got a suggestion for another episode, then leave a like, and a comment below, and my coaches and I will do our best to answer them for you. And if you've got any golfing friends who'd benefit from this lesson, hit the share buttons below. And remember to hit the subscribe and the bell icon below too, so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. Thanks for watching, sharing, and commenting, guys. I'll see you in the 19th hole.